Konnichiwa, I'm Mina's Tisa Curry, and you're watching Pokecast. Today's 10 Minute First Impressions video is going to be on a DS game, and that is Spectroves. Really excited to try this one out. Um, it's been in my DS collection for a while, so I thought after trying out the Wii one, I want to actually play the DS game and see exactly what the game has in store for me for I can start it, you know, and see what makes it so good. So as always, 10 minutes to play the game. First, I'm playing a version of and they can't skip anything. Let's get that timer started. Timer's been started and away we go. So let's see. New game. Alright. Ooh, pretty. Oh, well, that's one way to start it. Here comes our heroes. I'm actually quite happy that they look good in the DS game. So that's always good. Gina, this is the first mission we've had in ages. We can't afford to mess this up. Well, Rollin, Ra, Ra, fall. Rollin, I think that's how you say it. Whose fault is that? <laughs> we haven't gotten any interesting cases lately because you always go off and do things your own way. I can't believe you say that. I always get the job done. Rollin, sir, Jaina. Yes, Commander. I have details regarding your upcoming mission. We've detected a strange object that appeared to come from deep space. It dropped off the sky, dropped out of the sky, and crashed into the surface of Daichi, the second planet in Nana Nanero. Nanero. Your mission is to locate, investigate, and return the object for fur. Further study. Yes, sir. Rowan, one more thing. Stick to the plan and no monkey business. Do you understand? Uh, yes, sir. I understand. We'll get the job done. Understood, sir. I'll be waiting for your report. You got that, Rowan? No monkey business this time. What monkey business? You sound just like the commander. Why is everybody so upset? Uh, uptight? <laughs> hey, check it out. It looks like we're approaching Daichi. Roger, preparations, ground scan. Or preparing ground scan. Yeah, I can't read today. Hmm, looks like it's raining down there. All right, Rellin, you're up. Hit the ground and see if you can locate the object we're supposed to find. If you stumble onto something odd or curious, just push the A button to investigate it. Oh, by the way, just push the A button if you run into any people you want to talk to. Understood. I can't on you to back me up from the ship. Our radar has already detected the object. Looks fairly close. Happy hunting! Good, I was worried there for a moment that we'd have to use touch screen the entire time. Hey, don't forget you can use the recovery pod to heal or save. Really, maybe you should save before heading out. Always a good idea. Do you want to heal? Yes. Do you want to save? Indubitably. Saving. Okay, we are back. Alright. That's I always think it's weird when they use the uh the map like this, how it just scrolls onto the bigger screen. 
onto the top screen, sorry. Okay. So here's the ship, so... Excuse me here. You know, graphically, it's not terrible for the DS. This is actually pretty good. So I can hold B to walk slower. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Well, she said it was close, however, no indication of where I'm supposed to go. Of course. Because I have to go find it. So what happens if I touch the touch screen? Nothing. Okay. Well then, okay, nothing here. Hmm. And I'm back at the ship. What the heck? Okay. Huh. No, I didn't go this way last time, so let's go this way. Oh, hey, look, we found a, a path. There's a man laying inside the escape capsule. He appears to be alive. Huh? What's this thing? It looks like it's... Perfectly made to fit the wrist selection of my suit. So let's put it on and see what happens. Relin found a prismod. Whoa! It does fit! Looks pretty cool too. I wonder what it is. Relin, how's it going? Have you found anything? Gina, I've located the object. It looks like some kind of escape capsule from a spaceship. And there's an old man inside. Is he still alive? Old man, huh? Okay. I don't know. If he is alive, he's unconscious. His eyes are closed and he's not moving. Well, just call him Mr. X for now. Whoa, what's that? Merlin, what's happening? There's a huge black tornado and it's coming straight for me. It's moving just like a living creature. Dodge! <laughs> okay, what do we got? Okay. Left spectrum action, right action, D pad to move, rolling and the spectral around. X to make attack. So we got X is an attack. A is to hold the charged energy gauge. B is to change weapon Y is to charge or charge attack and select is to retreat gotcha use the LR button to command your spectral and defeat the qual oh I already have some okay All right. I think I'm doing it. No, nope. don't let me. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, we got one of them. Or, no, he's still alive. Darn. Okay, so you gotta wait till that meter on the bottom builds up, then you can use L and R to have your guy attack. Okay. Alright, that's good. And we are barely doing any damage. Ha! 
keep on missing. Good. Is that all of them? Nope. Okay. Alright, so now I'm kind of getting the gifs of it. I have to wait and make sure that they're close to it before I can use them. Nice. Okay. Minergy increases. Okay, we got some XP there. And there goes a the timer. Darn. I was actually enjoying that. Okay. I can see that it's definitely... Um, the game has its uniqueness. And it's not terrible. I mean, I've actually played several games that have that type of command style in it. So that's not bad. Um... Controls are definitely going to get a little bit, uh, getting used to, but that won't be a bad thing. That will be actually a good thing because of being able to just enjoy it. Um, I am, I do have to say, you know, after playing the final game in the series and coming back to play the first one, the story already is, you know, starting out a little bit of fun, a little bit of mystery, and we can see how the characters are, but... Yeah, I mean, not bad so far. It'll be fun just to really go through and see what other spectros I can get, how the story's going to go, and just have fun with it, really. Because it really, in my opinion, it's always good to check out the other monster collection g games and see just what they had in store for us. You know, because, you know, there's not just Pokemon. There's other ones out there to play. I'm not saying Pokemon's bad, but I do like trying out the different ones. So that was a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. This is Tisa Kura saying ciao and sayonara.